Checkmark police reform easier said than done A series of high-profile murders and crimes have raised questions about the efficacy of Ukraine's police. Is the reform of law enforcement moving forward? Is it yielding any results? Hiromadsky spoke with Ukrainian National Police Chief Serhiy Nyazev and reformer Denis Kobzin to learn what's happening and what needs to be done. We also have law enforcement reform expert Eugene Krapivin in studio to discuss. Serhiy Nyazov, Ukrainian National Police Chief Eugene Krapivin, law enforcement reform expert at the reanimation package of reforms, Dennis Cobbs, and director of the Kharkiv Institute of Social Research. Check mark the court battle of Trafalgar. Ukrainian oligarchs corrupt trail at some of the hottest, most iconic real estate in London, the grand buildings off Trafalgar Square. But a new investigation into the Paradise Papers leaks by Hiromadsky's Slitsvo.info investigative unit and the Organized Crime and Corruption Reporting Project has uncovered that this structure belongs to Ukrainian oligarch Viktor Pinchuk. But its ownership is hidden offshore in the Isle of Man. Hiromadsky explains how Pinchuk won the grand buildings in a British legal battle with two other oligarchs over a top Ukrainian state enterprise. Checkmark the challenges of Ukrainian Polish relations during the Euromaidan Revolution. Poland was one of Ukraine's staunchest allies. However, since a nationalist government came to power in Warsaw, tensions between the countries have grown. Kiev and Warsaw find themselves in conflict over historical narratives and political directions. Figures regarded as heroes by many in Ukraine, for example, Ukrainian nationalist leader Stepan Bandera, are regarded in Poland as the killers of Poles. And a new Ukrainian law restricting education in minority language has angered Warsaw. Hromadsky looks at where relations stand and what must happen to overcome these divides. Miriam Lexman, EU Office Director, International Republican Institute, Michal Boni, member of the European Parliament, check mark investigating high tech electoral corruption in Kyrgyzstan last month. Kyrgyzstan went to the polls to elect a new president. The race was close, but ultimately, former Premier Minister Soran Bejinbekov, the incumbent's chosen successor, scored a clear victory. But then Kyrgyzstan's independent Kloop.kg news site discovered Somara.kg, a website hosted on a Kyrgyz state server that appeared to allow election workers to pressure voters to cast their ballot for Jean Bekov. Kloop's co-founder Bektor Iskander explains what his organization discovered and why the Kyrgyz authorities have to use such high-tech, unusual schemes to influence elections. Bektor Iskander co-founder of the Kloop.kg news agency.